Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson we're going to compare fractions that have the same numerator. In the last lesson we compared fractions that had the same denominator, so what we ended up doing was looking at the numerators, the top number. Here we have, we're comparing fractions that have the same numerator, so we're going to be focusing on the denominators. So if they have the same number on top, then we, we look at the numbers on the bottom. Okay, here's our essential question. What are some ways to compare fractions that have the same numerator? Don't forget all your lessons are at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, David is at Alonzo's Pizza Depot. He can sit at a table with five of his friends or at a table with seven of his friends. The same size pizza is shared equally among the people at each table. Which table should David sit to get most of the pizza? Okay, so including David, how many friends will be sharing the pizza at each table? All right, well, since it's, uh, it's David with five friends, then five plus one is going to be six at one table. And David with seven friends would be David plus one, which would be eight at each table. So uh, what are we going to compare? Well, we're going to be comparing uh, which table will have the bigger slices of pizza. Okay, so if they're going to be shared equally at each table, um, then we're going to cut them up into uh, sixth size or eighth size. So there will be six friends sharing pizza, uh, pizza A, we'll call it, or eight friends sharing pizza B. So David will get either one-sixth of a slice or one-eighth of a slice. Can you see that? So if he sits here, there's, there's David with uh, uh, five of his friends or David with eight of his friends over here, or seven of his friends, sorry. So we're going to shade uh, one-sixth of a pizza and one-eighth of a pizza. So I think I did that in red and blue right there. There we go. So there's one-sixth and one-eighth. Well, that, I can clearly see which pizza I want to eat if I'm hungry, so... Which pizza is larger? Well, definitely this blue piece right here is going to be larger than this guy right here. So one-sixth is greater than one-eighth right there, okay? So let's answer the question. David should should uh, sit at the table with um, uh, the one with five of his friends so he can get a bigger slice of the pizza. All right, so which pizza has more pieces? Well, uh, pizza B has more pieces. All right, so the more pieces a whole is divided into, then uh, if I cut it up into more pieces, are they going to be smaller or larger pieces? Well, they're going to be smaller pieces right there, okay? All right, and then uh, which pizza has fewer pieces? Well, pizza A has fewer pizzas. So um, so the fewer the pieces of a whole is divided into, then the larger the pieces are going to be. So if we cut it up into less pieces, they're going to be bigger. Okay, if you cut it up into more pieces, they're going to be smaller. All right, so suppose David wants uh, two pieces of uh, two pieces of one of the either pizza. So either two pieces of pizza A or two pieces of pizza B. Is, is two of these pieces going to be larger than two of these pieces or are two of these pieces going to be larger than two of these pieces? Which has a greater amount? And explain how you know. Well, there's a few ways to do this. Well, since pizza A has the bigger slice, uh, then two of the slices from pizza A will be larger than two of the slices from pizza B. So um, uh, that means uh, two of these six right here are going to be larger than two of these eights right here. Okay, so here's two eights right here, and then two six would be quite a bit bigger right here. You get uh, bigger slices right there. All right, so here we're going to use fraction strips. So here Julie has two eighths of her homework completed, and John has two thirds of his homework completed. Now look, the numerators are the same, just like in the last uh, one, it was one. Here the numerators are two. So um, uh, who has more of their homework completed? So what we're going to do is compare two eighths and two thirds. All right. Now remember the denominators. How many slices we're cutting it up into equal pieces? And so remember that last piece that we had right here. Uh, if the denominator was larger, then we got smaller pieces right here. So when the denominator is smaller, you get larger pieces. So let's just use that logic right here. When the denominator is larger, it ends up being smaller pieces. And when the denominator is smaller, it ends up being bigger pieces. But let's do this with fraction strips just to really um, hone this assignment in right here. So we're going to place a check mark to the fraction strip that shows more parts in the whole. Okay, so here's the whole. This is whole one right here. Here it is where eight, it's divided up into eight equal pieces, and here it is where it's divided up into three equal pieces. So that way we can compare two eighths versus two thirds. All right, so let's put a check mark next to the one that has the one eighth because it has more parts of the whole right there. That's what it's asking. 
Okay, so shade uh, two eighths and then shade two thirds. All right, well, here's two eighths right there. Okay, see that? And then here's two thirds right there. Clearly, you guys, two thirds is larger than two eighths. So when we compare the shaded parts, um, uh, two eighths would be less than two thirds right there. Because look, here's two thirds right there. It's it's a lot. It's even more than five eighths right there. Here's five eighths right there. Okay. All right, so uh, who has completed more homework? Well, who had the two-thirds? John had the two-thirds, so good on John. John has more of his homework, or maybe his is just easier or something. Who knows? So, All right, so let's use some reasoning for it. So before taking a hike, Terry and Colin each ate part of the same size granola bar. Terry ate three-fourths of her bar. Colin ate three-sixths of his bar. Who ate more of their bar? Okay. All right. Remember, the, the, more, the bigger the denominator means the, the smaller the slices there are on that. So on here. So in the last lesson, if the denominators were the same, then the bigger the numerator made it bigger. But here, if the denominators or if the numerator is the same, the bigger the denominator makes them smaller. All right, so we're going to compare 3 fourths and 3 six. So since the numerators are the same, look at the denominators and compare the size of the pieces right there. Okay, remember, um, uh, well, okay, right here it says the more pieces of a whole is divided into, um, then the, the blank the pieces are. So are they smaller or bigger? So if we cut up the pizza into more pieces, was it smaller or bigger? Okay, and we did this a, a while ago, um, uh, and I, I just copied and pasted it right here. So the more pieces the small is divided... Uh, the whole is divided into the smaller the pieces. Remember that pizza, if we divided it up into eight equal pieces, they were smaller than if we divided it up into six equal pieces. So let's go ahead and answer these questions right here. So I just moved it up also. So the more the pieces a uh, whole is divided into, then the smaller the pieces are, and the fewer the pieces the whole is divided into, then the larger the pieces are. So these both have uh, the same numerator right here. So we just look at the denominators, and the one that has the bigger denominator makes it smaller, you guys. So one-fourth is larger uh, than one-sixth because there are fewer pieces right there. All right, so uh, we're going to say three-fourths is going to be um, uh, larger than three-sixths right there. Okay, so who ate more of the granola bar? Terry ate more of that granola bar right there. Okay, and just be careful, you guys, when comparing fractions that have the same numerator, be sure the symbol shows that the fraction with the fewer pieces in the whole is the greater of the fractions. Okay, you guys, I hope that make lesson makes sense. Take care.